Do you ever get an email from somebody and you see one of those really nice styling little signatures down in the bottom of their email? Maybe it's got like their photo or their logo. Do you ever feel a little bit jealous of that? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make your own so that you can be one of the cool kids. Now, I know that everybody hates having the blank email signature whenever you create a new email message. It's got nothing down here, and so it just takes extra work to always sign your name and your phone number, etc. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful uh, email signature that people can be jealous of, which is what everybody wants. Um, and I'm gonna show you two different options. Um, there's gonna be the lower resolution uh, do-it-yourself version, uh, because Apple Mail has some constraints on how they um, handle images. So that one would look something like this, where you can choose the text that you want and you can put your logo in here or maybe a photo of yourself. I'll show you how to create that. Um, or uh, you can create a high res version with a great uh, paid service that I recommend and love um, that I'll show you in a bit. But it looks beautiful. It's got the high res logo. All of these links are clickable and it even has your social media links across the bottom here. And uh, I think these are just beautiful. So I'm gonna show you both of those. And we'll start with the uh, do-it-yourself version. So here, um, you wanna have your logo ready here and you open that with preview. Now I'm gonna make a duplicate of this so that we can lower the resolution to use in mail. So in preview, you go to the file menu and you duplicate to make another copy of this and then rename that. And then under the tools menu, you go to adjust size now, this, the resolution always needs to be 72 for, for your image as well, but you can choose what um, width and height you wanna go with. Um, I like a height of about 75 for my logo, but you can play with different sizes. You just say okay to that, and I'm gonna do Command S to save, um, and it will look bigger than this in the actual um, mail. So I'm gonna close these and quit preview because I don't need that anymore. So then you go over to mail, uh, and then you go to the mail menu in the top left, and you go to preferences, and then you click on signatures over here. Um, and here we're going to add the Lucas One signature, um, and this is gonna be with the logo that I just resized. And so here you can choose the, the info that you wanna put in here. You can put your email address, you can put your phone number, um, and then you just drag the logo straight into this box right here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this extra white space. Um, you can also change the formatting of the text by selecting it um, and or selecting parts that you wanna change. And then hold the command key on the keyboard and press T and that's the text palette. And you can pick and choose different fonts and sizes from, and colors from here. So. Once you've made the signature to look the way you want, um, you need to do this extra step of taking it from all signatures and adding it to your account over here. So I'm gonna drag this over to Lucas Gmail. So now it shows up here. And uh, so there it is. And then I'm also gonna tell Apple Mail to choose this one by default. So anytime I create a new email message, it's gonna choose that one as the default. So then you close that, it'll save it automatically. So now anytime that you make a new message, it'll automatically have this Lucas One signature created. So that's the, that's the free way. It's a great way of doing it. Um, and you can put your, your photo or logo in there. One major downside to this is anytime that you send this email to anybody, when they get it, it's actually gonna have an attachment uh, attached. So they're always gonna think that you have attachments in your emails. So that's the main downside of doing it this way. Um, now I'm gonna show you the way uh, with uh, htmlsig.com. Uh, There's a great web service. Um, this, when you do it this way, it won't have it as an attachment. It'll actually be, uh, the signature is hosted by these guys. And so that's why it's a paid service. Um, you need to use Chrome for this, not Safari, because uh, Safari has some strange issues with copy and paste. So open up htmlsig.com in Google Chrome. Um, you can create a free signature, which is a, a 30 day trial. But uh, here you can put in your name and uh, your title and you'll see it's appearing over on the right. It just looks great. You put in the email address that you wanna use and your phone number and then the company and your website. And here you can upload your logo and you get to choose the um, high res version of your logo, which is awesome because they actually host it and so they can keep it high res. <clears throat> that takes a second to upload. Um, and wonderful feature of this service is you can actually put in um, your social media links. So you can put in 
your Twitter um, uh, links and your Facebook links, and it creates these great little icons. Um, you can even choose the, when you have a paid account, you can choose the layout so you can have the logo on the left or on the right or stacked or things like that. So you can play with that. Um, and with a paid service, you even get um, statistics, how many people click on the different things. And so it's a really, really good service for businesses and you can have multiple signatures as part of one account. So it's a really great service. Um, you can uh, uncheck to sign me up for the newsletter unless you want that. Um, and then you just click create signature. And then it makes this signature for you and it's ready to go. Um, now, in order to add it into mail, you need to click just a little bit to the left of the logo where the mouse turns into a, a little black arrow. And then you click and drag to select all of this and then hit Command C to copy. And from here now you go into Apple Mail and you go into the signatures panel again. We're going to add a new uh, signature. We're going to call this one Boom Mac Epiphany signature and then you click in here and select all and delete that. Um, I like to have one extra little space here um, just for typing text um, when I make the email and then you just do command V to paste and you're gonna see it's gonna have like an empty little box that's normal it's uh, it's because it's actually hosted at HTML SIG uh, service and now you just drag this over to your account and then you choose this one as the default one. So anytime you create a new email now, it's gonna have that awesome looking email signature. And now, every time you make a new message, you look like a boss. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you dug that and you want more, head to macandhome.com slash killer tips to grab your free ebook. The top 10 killer tips to speed up your Mac without spending a dime. It's in human language with no acronyms. <laughs> this is like the beginning, it's the hardest part. Yes.